This is a 12 lead ECG recorded from a middle-aged female complaining of chest pain. The rhythm strip is unusually recorded from lead V1. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 54 beats per minute. There are P waves present with a rate of 75 beats per minute, but these bear no relationship to the QRS complexes, and therefore the rhythm is complete heart block. The P waves are seen to march through the QRS complexes, as can be seen on complexes 6 and 8, where there is a P wave superimposed upon the QRS. The axis is left axis deviated, with an upgoing complex in lead 1, and a downgoing complex in lead 2. The QRS duration is at the border of long, measuring three small squares in duration. There are pathological Q waves present in leads 3 and AVF. There is ST segment elevation present in leads 3 and AVF. And ST segment depression in leads 1, AVL, and subtly V2 and V3. In summary, this 12 lead ECG recorded from a patient with chest pain shows evidence of an inferior ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. In addition, the patient appears to be in complete heart block with a relatively narrow complex escape rhythm probably arising from high in the conduction pathway, i.e. the his purkinje system. The pathology is probably arising from the right coronary artery as this supplies the inferior aspect of the heart and the sinoatrial node in the majority of patients. The patient should be treated with emergency PCI. The rhythm should continue to be monitored as if the escape rhythm failed, the patient would be in ventricular standstill. A significant proportion of these patients require temporary pacing.